Hi, everyone. My name is John Lane. I'm with Schneider Electric. I'm the technology automation and data analytics leader for that division. I would like to talk to you briefly today about the wiring simplification initiative we have going on, and it's deploying the CE electrical software suite. During this session, we'll talk about the following topics. Um, I'll give a brief overview of Schneider Electric Power Systems North America and explain a little bit about the challenges that we face there. Uh, also talk briefly about the additional factors that are external to our company that are, are also adding to our challenge. And then I'll describe the solution to our challenge that involves the use of the C electrical software. Um, I'll follow that up with a test where we actually ran an example of uh, a pilot, you might say, uh, to prove the value that we get from the software and the overall solution. Uh, and then I'll give you an update on where we're at with our progress and what we still have yet to go. And then I'll finalize that all with the conclusion. Um, just to give you a little bit of an overview of Schneider Electric here in North America, um, the construction market in North America is very demanding. Um, it pretty much requires an engineer to order business model for electrical distribution equipment. Every building is built uniquely with different power demands, different requirements uh, in terms of communications and control. And that pretty much means every order we get from each customer is actually uh, unique. Uh, sales are usually supported by uh, plans and specs that are generated by architects and engineers. And those are tools that are used by contractors in our channel uh, to help us um, configure the orders that are needed. And uh, we have many configurators that we use for our products. And as I mentioned, every customer order is unique. Um, the quantities and sizes of structures that are required uh, to house the electrical components, are, are they vary from one order to the next. And then also the arrangements and sizes and ratings of the electrical components themselves vary uh, within those configurations. Uh, the bottom line is, is our manufacturing process is discrete. It's not repetitive. It's very different than, say, an automotive industry or an airline industry where generally the same model is being built and the wiring is relatively the same with some slight modifications. In our case, uh, the wiring is unique every time. Uh, these are some examples of some of the products that we make in the power systems division in North America. And as you can see, the, the arrangements are different. The sizes of the circuit breakers are different. Um, and in some cases, we have other devices other than circuit breakers in our, for example, in our motor controls uh, center uh, with drives and starters. Uh, but anyway, the, the idea is that you can see uh, we're dealing with a very diverse uh, set of products and also the configurations of those products can be different for every customer. Um, the additional challenge that we're facing uh, is an evolution. And what we're seeing in the industry is uh, a very big transition uh, because of digitization and also because of the energy transition uh, where historically we've had single source uh, equipment that gets built. And nowadays uh, you're seeing orders for configurations that have multiple sources, uh, things like solar and battery storage and so on. Um, but if we go back, um, this picture is older than me, but uh, this is a uh, switch gear from the 1960s. And basically our engineering challenge back then was mostly mechanical uh, because a lot of these uh, devices were uh, simply electromechanical devices that operated thermally. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of control and certainly no communications in those products. Uh, if you march ahead to this decade, um, what we're seeing now is uh, switchboards and switchgear with very elaborate control schemes and often a lot of times redundant control schemes, and then also a high degree of communication, even connectivity to the cloud uh, with
with with the brains that are in these uh, switchboard and switchgear products. And this is an example of uh, one of our microgrid offers that we have where the PLC or industrial PC that's embedded inside is not only controlling the switchboard, but it's also interacting and controlling, in some cases, the other devices in the electrical network. So basically our challenge is our electrical design requirements and the complexity of the wiring are increasing at a rapid pace. Here's the answer to our challenge that we face. Uh, and this will show you how we're using the C electrical software. It starts on the left-hand side with a new sales order. Um, as I mentioned before, we have product configurators that will do a lot of the, uh, the logic to arrange the equipment. Um, we're also connecting that with the C electrical software suite to use their automated drawing generation capability, which saves our time for our project engineers quite a bit. Um, we're also using the C3D Panel Plus software to create a 3D model of each equipment order, and the electrical uh, components are mounted in those 3D models to, so that we know exactly where they're positioned. Using that data, we're able to actually do some pretty interesting things. We can calculate uh, the, the actual wire lengths of where those uh, wires are routed in the 3D model. Uh, and, it, and additional data is also calculated uh, that aids in the process that's in the next step. Um, we're using uh, C1 panel manufacturing software. I believe this was previously known as uh, C harness manufacturing. Um, this software actually takes all of that engineering data and prepares it in, uh, through transformations uh, in a number of ways. One, we, we actually generate work instructions. Uh, so that is actually passed on to our wiring personnel on the shop floor. Uh, and then we also use it to generate machine instructions. And so we're actually driving a COMAX Zeta uh, 650 uh, to actually generate uh, wire bundles uh, that are sequenced in order of installation cut, strip, label, and lug. Although this picture doesn't have any lugs on it, uh, we do have uh, the ability to choose the proper lugs uh, for each termination. Uh, all of that is handed off to our wiring associates and they are able then to use that information to do wiring faster and also with a higher quality. We actually wanted to prove this out before we went forward with a full-blown deployment. So we actually ran a test and the test was actually to compare this new method uh, against our current or the old way of doing wiring uh, that we've done for many years. Um, what we did is we actually asked two people, they were approximately equal in their experience and skill set. Um, we gave them the same 36 inch wide panel with pre-mounted electrical components. All they were mounted in the same position on both panels. Um, the solution required 88 wires, 133 terminations. Um, the wiring activity was performed side by side at the same time. We actually videoed uh, both sessions. Uh, this is an example of what the panel looked like finished with all the wires installed, but um, this, this is an example of the complexity that we dealt with. Um, one person is instructed to wire the panel using our current wiring method uh, designed using our legacy CAD system and our proprietary wiring design software uh, with the familiar documentation. With, you know, this is the documentation that the person had been trained on uh, in their daily work. Uh, the second person was instructed to wire using the new method based upon the C electrical software output, uh, as well as the visual work instructions uh, that are based on the C one panel manufacturing uh, software. And they would also use the wire bundles that are prepared by the COMAX uh, Zeta 650. Um, the way that our wiring instructions are set up is they actually align one to one with each wire bundle. So when you pick up a wire bundle, it corresponds to the page or the information that you're looking at, uh, both with the 3D model visualization as well as the wire list. 
here are the results. Uh, so the first person uh, doing the wiring the old way, uh, the runtime took about eight hours and 40 minutes, and they used about 940 feet of wire. The second person using the new method, uh, the runtime was three hours, 35 minutes, and 475 feet of wire. You might ask, why did we have uh, less wire? Well, there was a lot of scrap in the old method because they pull wire uh, longer than they need, and they end up cutting it to length. Uh, once it's installed, uh, whereas with the COMAX wires, we're able to calculate that length and actually cut the length on the machine before it's handed to the wiring personnel. So in this specific configuration, and all configurations are different, so we may see different results from one panel to the next, uh, but in this particular configuration, we realized a 58% reduction in wiring time and a 49% reduction in scrap wire. So here is the progress update. So we, uh, along the top here, you see the, the, the sort of a summary of the process uh, where we do the electrical schematics and the 3D model, uh, feeding the machine, generating the wire bundles, and then the work instruction uh, you know, allows us to generate the end result, which is the wired panel. Um, so in engineering, here's our progress. So we have, um, deployed to eight sites uh, at this point. Uh, and we have four more sites that we plan to deploy uh, starting in the first quarter of 2025. Uh, we have a little bit more work to do for, to prepare for those sites. Um, products, we have deployed eight, uh, both low voltage and medium voltage product families. And for 2025, we have uh, two more product families, which is a part of that preparation that I described earlier. Um, we currently have 304 active users uh, who are using the software every day. Uh, and our plan, uh, once we get the remaining sites deployed and the remaining products uh, developed, uh, is to have over 400 users uh, actively using the software in our engineering team. Um, some of the progress or the milestones that we've accomplished over the last couple of years, um, we, we performed a major upgrade to uh, the CXP version five release two software. Uh, that was completed in the second quarter of 2023. Um, it is a prerequisite for the rest of the software that we are using. So we had to make that leap. We started our journey with uh, the version four software. Um, engineering process improvements that are underway. We, we have uh, an internal development team that is actually building uh, some software applications vertically on top of the C electrical software to do comparisons of the uh, component bill material with our uh, internal bill material, bill material management system. And then we also have, uh, we've built and integrated into the C electrical software, the some proprietary error checks that are specific to our products and not necessarily something you would find industry wide, uh, but we've successfully integrated that with the error handling uh, functionality that's built in the CXP. Um, and then we also uh, this year or at the, at the beginning of this year, we turned on for orders the C3D mo uh, Panel Plus modeling activity. Uh, we spent a uh, better part of last year developing the library uh, of 3D models for that from our mechanical CAD systems. We had to actually do some preparation work there. So that's a little bit of the progress on the engineering side. On the manufacturing side, we uh, have purchased and have actively running uh, three COMAX machines. And so those are actually uh, operational at this time. And we have one more that's on order. It'll be uh, arriving in the fourth quarter of 2024. And then there's an additional one planned uh, for another facility uh, and the orders for that are pending. Uh, the C one panel manufacturing uh, software was launched in April of 2024, and that enabled us to actually start running those COMAX machines uh, with the work instructions and also the wire bundle uh, information for the machines to actually produce the wire. 
we're expecting that we will actually, once this is fully operational, we'll be producing about 2 million uh, terminations per year using this process, but that was based on 2022 volume. So we're actually gonna see probably quite a bit more than the 2 million because we're already producing more uh, units than we were in 2022. Um, as far as progress in manufacturing, we've we've had to go through a lot of training to train our wiring associates on the new drawing output. That's been happening over the last couple of years. Um, and then we've also, uh, at the beginning of this year, we, we stacked on top of that, uh, the deployment of the C1 panel manufacturing work instructions and the augmented reality tools. So the augmented reality tools are really a nice feature that we've developed to actually allow us to do uh, the visualization on the shop floor. And it actually assists with the uh, validation of the components being mounted correct in the correct position on the, the sheet metal pans. Um, and then we're also doing continuous improvement with the 3D model construction, uh, the wire route definition, and the work instruction in manufacturing. Uh, it's amazing how much our shop floor associates actually know where the best places to route the wires are. And so we're having to bring that knowledge back into engineering so that when we design the 3D model, uh, the wire routes are correct. So as a summary, um, Basically, we're 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 headlong into our journey as far as uh, using the C Electrical Software Suite, uh, which is the C Electrical Expert Software, C 3D Panel Plus, and also the C One Panel Manufacturing. Um, with the C Electrical Expert and the C 3D Panel Plus, we're delivering more robust engineering designs. So the the information that's available to drive manufacturing automation is dramatically increased versus the prior solution that we had. Um, we're also driving manufacturing efficiency and automation uh, with the COMAX machines producing wire bundles. Uh, and all of this is, is culminating into a higher level of quality with the machines doing a lot of the preparation of the wires. Uh, we have more consistent application of uh, in fittings on those wires and the length of the wires are cut uh, correctly per the 3D models. And as you can see, we're furthering our investment with more sites, more products, and more machines with um, more automation to come. I'd like to thank you all for uh, listening to me talk about our journey and uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.